Hi everybody, it's Miss Mary here from Miss Mary Makes. I've come on to showcase a very beautiful set of um, digital papers from Velocraft Studio. What I actually have used, um, I've made a journal with uh, the kit Enchanted Forest. I will link all the social media um, aspects of Velocraft Studio in the description box below. But what I have here is an eight and about eight, an eight and a quarter inch tall journal, six inches wide with a one and a three quarter spine. It's a soft cover little fold over. And this is what it looks like. There is 172 pages in this one. And I've added a little tassel on the side there that can be, de be de um, detached. And some sari silk ribbon, which is just wrapped around the cover. Now the cover, I've actually used a manila folder and I've had uh, crushed velvet uh, with cheesecloth and on the inside, as you will see, I've materialed and stamped. It is such a beautiful kit. On the front cover first, I've used um, the Tim Holtz leaf fragments and grunged them up to look like rusty leaves. But isn't the picture beautiful of the girls? So we'll move on to the inside. And with this one, I put a pocket on the, just on the inside, but I've also made a writing board. So that's a fairly thick board. And with one of the add-on pages from Enchanted Forest, I've just covered that front and back. And I've got a couple of little uh, postcards and um, a little journal card that I stamped. I've, um, on the edge I've used the leaves. And I have not, or I've tried not to cover up the beautiful images from the kit. I've dyed my some of my paper in green, green food colouring dye and then stenciled with um, with rustic wilderness and and forest moss. So we've got a little pocket from the kit which I've just added some trim, and this is a stamp that I've just done um, a st from the Stamperia Forest. It's got a picture of a forest, so. Our little um, ladies could be anywhere within this forest. So I've just put that in there and you can write on the back. It isn't heavily embellished because it got too chunky. And some tags from the kit. There's three signatures and I've printed the main kit out twice and sewn the pages together. And I've just got some burlap trim on this one. And there's some writing space there as well. And this lends itself to plenty of little uh, writing spaces. Some more tags from the kit. And we have an envelope. And in that, I've just put one of the tags from the kit as well. I have added um, vintage line paper as well. I've got lace on some of the pages, but this, it is a beautiful kit. More tags from the kit. Um, and then I had a friend of mine gifted me a printed paper doily, the one of the square ones. Some Edith Holden paper. Another pocket, and these are from the kit as well.
more leaves on, on the in the kit on the side pages there here's another pocket from the kit more and some more beautiful tags from the kit as well and I've just inked around them and they can be written on the back so plenty of places to add your add writing and this one here I've just folded a bit of music paper over I've used um, cutouts from Stamperia Forest kit as well and a couple of more tags from the kit this makes it a bit different as well another corner pocket with the beautiful tags and there's some um, heavily dyed copy dyed lace as well but aren't and this is the middle of the first signature but aren't these beautiful these pages and I've just put an, um, another envelope to put something in over the top of the page and this here is isn't part of the kit I've actually used um, Lavinia stamps and this is an owl from the Stamperia Forest stamp set and you can just write on the back but it's lent itself so much to this beautiful kit and this one here uh, it's an envelope folded in half and you you leave the envelope um, top open like that and I've just chucked in a little journal card and then you've got a pocket with two more from the kit but isn't the images just stunning it's hard to not to um, do anything and this one I've just left plain with a bit of stenciling. I've got another tag from the kit. Now on this one, these are I've done them like a file card. Um, this is a stamp from Stamperia Forest. I've used cheesecloth and just dyed it in the green colour. But when you open it up, you've got places to write. And then I've just done the Lavinia at the back. And I've got two digital um, avocado dyed journal cards in there as well. I have some more leaves on the side there, just to add a bit of interest. Here is another little pocket from the kit and that's backed onto Edith Holden, a couple of the tags. And the other side of the printed doily. Now in here I've done the Tim Holtz pocket, but I've left that, um, I put an extra little one in there for the recipient to add, um, add their bits and pieces to. But the images are absolutely brilliant with this kit. So thank you, Val, for letting me um, showcase your kit. And this one here is just a belly band from one of the kits. And I've just done the Stamperia Forest. And I've added tags. And this one here was one of the file folders that are in um, with the kit and I've just cut the tab off to make it a journaling card so there is plenty of room in here to write and it's stenciled throughout and I've used a selection of coffee dyed paper food coloring dyed paper music paper Edith Holden it just all lends but look at that they are just magnificent and we have the large and medium sized tags as well and a little corner pocket which is in the kit but it's stunning and more leaves there and we've got the girls again and this is a second signature and this time I stenciled with the leaves and this is another Lavinia one that I've uh, that I done I just sort of went well with this kit and we've got the girls um, some ephemera from the kit 
put a bit of um, copy dyed tracing paper in there as well and another belly band from the kit and this is from Stamperia Forest but I used the uh, add-on kit and just made a big journaling card here but there's plenty of room you can write in there and this is a file card from the from the kit another tag another printed mushroom doily another corner pocket some more tags it is a big kit it does have a lot of tags corner pockets envelopes um, little half circle tags and pockets but it's just beautiful and I've used um, cheesecloth and just sort of ruffled it up a bit some more Edith Holden and another pocket with the ephemera from the kit as well I've done a doily use one of the ephemera pieces and just put a card in there and this one just has a card on this side as well another piece of the music paper and just use the ephemera from the kit but look at that that is just beautiful they all are now on the second one this is meant to be an how I describe it is an over the page but I made it a centerpiece so you have pockets at the back which has got journaling cards we have pockets here which you just add the lace so there's pockets there this one just you can um, put little attachments or leave it and you it's got a big journal or even a bookmark which you can write on the back and then there's two big pockets on this side with all the ephemera from the kit but look at that one too isn't that gorgeous there's another page as well we have and these are ephemera pieces and I've just tucked tags um, the recipient can use put a photo in there or use it for whatever they require another piece of um, music paper just folded over with the girls Edith Holden some more of the kit pages and another one of the pockets with an envelope with a tag so there's plenty of places um, they can write the envelopes you can hide little secrets if you wish and this is just all the back side of those there but the girls and the way it's done is absolutely stunning we've got the copy paper tracing paper more more writing space here and that's the end of the second signature but isn't it isn't it beautiful I put more leaves on the side of the pages there and you're plain another pocket with all the tags some grid paper that I've just used a stent put a stencil through more of the Edith Holden more tags from and this time these are from the add-on kit but as I said I'll link it link um, Co her Kofi, uh, Val's Kofi and Etsy shop in the description below some more page from the kit, journal cards music paper and just all stencils throughout I couldn't come to put anything on the pages because they're just gorgeous I've used some of the trim from which craft do you do just on this on the page there to add interest and here's another one of those printed doilies some grid paper and like the previous one 
which I'll have to put, you can put the string there so it holds it in place. But I've made a couple of um, the pockets with the trim and the big journaling card there to write on the back. Just makes it a bit different for a centre page. I've just sewed around that one. And when this opens up, you've got your big bookmark. It just flips over. You can put a photo there. And on this side, we've got all the tags as well. It's just something a bit different. And this is a Lavinia one that I've done. I thought it went well with this. With the owl sitting on the fairy wings. More from the kit. So as you can see, there is a lot of room to write. You can write there. You can add photos. Another pocket. And this is from a fairy book that I was gifted. And I've just put a couple of pockets in. And tags from the kit. So, and there's more tags from the kit. And this time a cute little fox. Another um, vintage music paper. And this one here I've done a um, little paper bag. And put in tags from the kit as well. Plenty of room to write, and once again, I've, I've followed it up again with the um, ephemera with the tags. But as as I said, you can put photos, you can put whatever you like there. Another beautiful page from the kit, another corner tag, and this time I just put one of the a fairy holding the holding a lamp, and a beautiful another tag from the kit as well. Edith Holden your grid paper and more tag and this tag I just added a little piece of ephemera from the kit and just put it on some gel printed tags just to make it a bit different there's my string for me tie but the pictures and the animals it's just so gorgeous some more of the leaf trim and the back page. <clears throat> I've done a couple of little foxes and they're sort of Lavinia with the Tim Holtz for, um, noteworthy on there as well. And this is two pockets. You've got one pocket at the front which these live in and you've got, I made the envelope for the back pocket. And just a little clip to hold it together. And this was a op shop find. Um, so I just cut it down, sewed it all on with the corners and stamped. And this will get gets everything on it. But that's the back page there. The back of the folder. And this just goes shut like this. It is chunky. Um, the recipient may wish to take a lot of it out and it just ties up the front like that so I do hope you like uh, what I've constructed for uh, Valerie at, Val at Val Craft Studios what I'll as I said I will link er or er all the social aspects down below but for now I'll, sa I'll say goodbye and have a good day